Well, uh, let me thank all of you for joining us today, and I'm uh, delighted to be able to uh, recognize Speaker Sakaki uh, doing an extraordinary job as the Speaker, and we're very fortunate in Rhode Island to have Joe as the Speaker of the House. I also want to recognize Brenda Clement uh, with House and Works Rhode Island. Brenda has been one of the great advocates for housing and for equity in this community, and of course Jennifer Wood with the Center for Justice. She's all about equity and fairness and progress for all people in the state. Uh, and we, we are all particularly committed to keeping people in their homes in this time of pandemic. And for many families, we all understand that uh, affordable housing may be the single most effective and available form of personal protective equipment from COVID-19. Uh, many people uh, they might have access to a mask, but if they don't have access to good, decent, safe, affordable housing, they're more vulnerable. Well, we know that. But thanks to the American Rescue Plan, which we, under the direction and of President Biden, got through the House and Senate uh, just a few days ago, there'll be another $225 million in federal housing resources headed to Rhode Island to keep families in their homes safely. And this is in top of the $200 million that we delivered as part of last December's package of COVID support. So in total, Rhode Island will receive $425 million in federal funds to keep Rhode Island families from avoiding eviction and foreclosure, and hopefully infections as well. And let me point out something too, is that we're not only protecting these families, we're also ensuring that landlords in Rhode Island Many times, landlords are just small businessmen and businesswomen with two or three properties. Uh, they are facing a crisis. So if the resource is not there to pay the rent, then they will be under the same problems that uh, their tenants are and their, their homeowners. They'll be, they'll be foreclosed. So this is not only good for families, it's good for business in Rhode Island, too. Now, we know that the key to restoring our economy is defeating COVID-19. And to do that, we have to help keep families safe in their homes as we work towards vaccinating more and more people. And this is what the American Rescue Plan does. It includes several provisions, such as the Homeowner Assistance Fund, which I drafted, and it's actually uh, an elaboration of something I did back in 2010 in terms of uh, the hardest hit fund in the last recession. And it specifically protects people or in danger of being foreclosed because they haven't been able to pay their mortgage. So help is on the way. I think that's the message we want to get out. And it'll be here promptly, uh, and it'll be something that will give us an opportunity uh, to be ready when the vaccine receives, excuse me, when the virus recedes because of the vaccine, and our economy will be positioned to move out smartly. 